number two. All right, let's see if we can roll this morning. Good morning, good morning. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. This is a good day. This is the day the Lord hath made. Good morning. Good morning to all of my Facebookers. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Good morning. Are you on now? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, just testing to some degree. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I'm thinking I'm on the right uh, stream. All right. Pardon us for technical difficulties this morning, but um, we're in the process of striving to get this right. We're on the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry page now. And I believe we have it on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's high time to pray with Pastor Val. I know we're on live. Um, I don't see your comments, so we're going to work on through that. I'll um, check them, I guess, on this other page I have here. So we'll go forward. Hallelujah. We got to do it anyway, anyhow. Hallelujah. I must have pressed a button that canceled them out on um one page but praise the lord amen i see you on this one good morning amen trustee lee and the mother williams hallelujah cousin pat we're glad to see you this morning and we know that god is yet doing great and marvelous things in the body of christ and we're grateful because heaven therefore obtained help from god we continue unto this day witnessing to those both great and small. It's so wonderful to be in the house of the Lord on this lovely Sunday morning with the 6 a.m. crew praying, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, showing the people their sins, why? That they may repent, hallelujah, so we could be ready to meet the Lord in peace. I want to see the Lord in peace. Hallelujah. We're just excited because we know that as God continues to grace us, we can, can, can continue to go forward. Hallelujah. As we exemplify the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. If you'll remember on Wednesday, as we discussed chapter one in Philippians, uh, the um unity uh in christ well today our prayer is to have the mind of christ we need the mind of christ and as we go forward in the passage of scripture that the lord has given us this morning uh let's see we'll be reading in philippians 2 we're moving forward with chapter two, verses five through eight. Again, I am your host this morning, co-founder, Pastor Valerie D. Clark of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, located in Gary, Indiana, declaring it's high time. It's high time to praise Zion. In spite of what all we're going through, in spite of trials, tribulations, persecutions, We've made up our mind. We will be faithful because it's high time. It's high time to pray. And we're so grateful for each and every one of you joining in with us this morning. We just want you to know that you could share, like this video, share, so that it may be a blessing not only to you, but to your friends and family that need to know as we go forth in this prayer the mind of Christ. 
Let us read the scriptures to take us there. Hallelujah. And that's first, that's Philippians 2, verses 5 through 8. It declares, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. My, my, my. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his holy word. I declare unto you this morning that God sent his son Jesus with a maid of mine. <laughs> Woo! He endured the cross, Zion, for you and for me. Hallelujah. So that we can have the mind of Christ. Ah, my God from Zion. I pray that the Lord's Bless each and every one of you that have heard the word and that you will make it your business to be a doer of the word. Apply this word to your everyday life. Well, that's going to lead us right into our prayer. Let us pray this morning. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your patience that you have shown unto us over and over again. We thank you for being our guiding light. We thank you for being our redeemer, oh God. Oh, we thank you for sending your son, hallelujah, that we would have a right to eternal life with you. Father, we thank you. You've done so much for us. We cannot tell it all, but God, you know that we wanna share, hallelujah, this gospel, this great gospel that you have given us of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you for this day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. It's a marvelous day. It's a day that we've never seen before. And Father, we thank you, hallelujah, because you're good, good, good. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, because you have saw fit to continue to look upon us Father, as we go forward in this prayer, hallelujah, we thank you that you demonstrated humility. You demonstrated, hallelujah, so that we would have an example to follow after you. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are God, hallelujah, that just doesn't think of yourself, but you thought of all of us, hallelujah, and the basket cases that we were. Hallelujah. And you sent your son, Jesus. <laughs> and Father, for that, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. We can't thank you enough. We thank you, Lord, for watching over and protecting us all night long. Hallelujah. For the, uh, from the dangers. Hallelujah. Even as we slept and slumbered. Hallelujah. Someone didn't wake up this morning on this side. Hallelujah, but you blessed us, hallelujah, to be here with you morning, this morning on this Facebook live, this live stream and YouTube, declaring, hallelujah, that you are the one, hallelujah, that we are connected to. We thank you, Lord, that you're the one that gives us this mind to seek after you. Father, we thank you, Lord, that as we go forward in you, hallelujah, that you continue to show us how to be humbled under the mighty hand of you, knowing that you, hallelujah, will exalt us. You will raise us up in due time. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all of the prayer warriors. We thank you, Lord, for those that are praying with us this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you for those, hallelujah, that are even here this uh, video replay later. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for each and every one in the body of Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, oh God, 
for the laborers, hallelujah, of the harvest, hallelujah, that we may gather in those mm, who may just now hear of this gospel. Father, we pray, oh God, that you break up the fallow ground of their heart, that they'll have an ear to hear, oh God, what the Spirit is saying unto the church. And Father, we thank you that as we go forward in this word this morning, as we are those that pray the scripture, hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, that the platform that you have given us, hallelujah, is like none other. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, that we can be the best <laughs> Valerie that we can be. And we thank you for that this morning. Hallelujah. And we just pray, oh God, that you help us as we go forward in you. Hallelujah. To, con to demonstrate continuously uh, that spirit of humility. And just to share with all of those of you that are listening uh, to this uh, prayer this morning. Hallelujah. They have noted, uh, some of the scholars, that there are steps to humility. Hallelujah. And Apostle Paul, he's yet teaching us and encouraging us in this book of Philippians. Hallelujah. And as we go forward, hallelujah, noting uh, those steps of uh, humility, hallelujah, because one thing for certain, as we empty out our minds, Hallelujah. And let the mind of Christ come in. Hallelujah. We know, hallelujah, that we are going higher and higher in the Lord. So some of the things that we want to do and are encouraged to do is to be consecrated to humble ourselves. It's a decision that we make. We must be consecrated to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. And then we lay aside his divine form. That's what Jesus did in verse six. He laid aside his divine form. And then in verse seven, he made himself of no reputation. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. Ah, oh, and then he took on the form of a servant. Zion, as we pray, hallelujah, our prayer focus this morning is to have the mind of Christ. Lord, grace us, ah, the mind of Christ. That's our prayer focus. Lord, give us that mind. Come on, somebody type in the comment uh, section, the mind of Christ. We desire, hallelujah, to have the mind of Christ as we go forward day by day, consecrating ourselves, taking off those things, hallelujah, that easily beset us, hallelujah, those sins, those weights, hallelujah. And the Lord helps us to run this race with patience. We go forward, hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, uh, the Lord was made in likeness of man, hallelujah. He came down hallelujah, for 42 generations, God wrapped himself in flesh. Oh, yes, God did it. He said, I brought salvation with my own arm. Hallelujah. And then he humbled himself. Hallelujah. He became obedient, as verse 8 declares, even unto death. So therefore, Zion, these are the things that uh, in this passages of scripture, hallelujah, that we must do, hallelujah, just as the Lord did so that we can show, hallelujah, that we are willing to humble ourselves, hallelujah, we're willing to be servants, hallelujah, we must be willing to serve others, that's a sign of humility, let the church shout hallelujah, mm. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, we're on top and we're rising this morning doing the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. Showing people, hallelujah, the word through our demonstrations every day. Hallelujah. And as we go forward, hallelujah, uh, Micah 6, 8, as we pray, the word declares, he hath showed thee 
O oh man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee? But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Zion, this is what the Lord is requiring of us. And as we do this, hallelujah, we're going to continue to go forward in God. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to please him. Oh, yes, we are, Trustee Lee. We're going to continue, hallelujah, Elder Stone, to know that God is doing great and marvelous things for us. Hallelujah. Ah, as we seek the mind of Christ. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, Luke 14, 10, as we pray his word, because it's our focus this prayer this morning to have the mind of Christ. Luke 14, 10 declares, but when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. Hallelujah. Ah, and as humble servants of God, that's what we do. Hallelujah. We take the low road. Hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, we'll be exalted in due time. I declare when we really learn how to humble ourselves, hallelujah, and that simply means Hallelujah, how to learn how to just be lowly and meek, how to be a servant, hallelujah, to the people of God, to God's creation, because that's what he came as, hallelujah, a servant, why? So that he could minister to us, so that he could serve us, he could die on that rugged cross for you and me, so that we can have eternal life. Let the church shout glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Then Luke 22, 26 declares the word, but ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, listen Zion, let him be as the younger and he that is chief as he that doth serve. I can remember as a young girl, hallelujah, the scripture. The greatest one among you is the one that served. And I always just wanted to be a servant. I remember when uh, my mother would have uh, birthday dinners for all of her students at Zion Temple. She had 32 young uh, people in her class. This was one class, 32 people. Hallelujah. And I can recall seeing um, on one of her old Bibles, Sister Denise Cooper, she was the secretary of the little class. Hallelujah, although it was a large class. And she would give an account to mother for those that were absent. And I can remember, hallelujah, how my mother was determined to serve them. She would have a great birthday celebration for each one in her class. Hallelujah. And then on Christmas, hallelujah, she would give each one a beautiful Christmas gift. Hallelujah, just serving the students of God. She wasn't looking for anyone to do anything for her in return. Hallelujah. But she was willing to serve. She was willing not only to raise her 10 children, but she took in other children. Hallelujah. So that they may be clothed and fed. Hallelujah. And nurtured. Hallelujah. In the way of the Lord. Come on, Zion. We need to be servants of the Most High. Mm. And when we show the people that we live with, we work with, we socialize with, hallelujah, the ways of the Lord, that's going to be the greatest example of him. <coughs> Excuse me, that they can see. People so busy listening, watching what you do till they can't hardly hear what you say. <coughs> Excuse me, hallelujah. Praise the Lord that he's yet on the throne. Hallelujah. And he is our great physician. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord that as we celebrate, hallelujah, the humility 
of the Lord, that we ourselves too can be humble before him. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not just me, my four, and no more. Hallelujah. But I want to share. Want to take in those. Hallelujah. Ah, the motherless, the homeless, the fatherless. Hallelujah. It takes a village. It takes a community. It takes each one of us going forward. Hallelujah. To help one another. Let the church shout hallelujah. Mm. Ah, the Bible says in Proverbs uh, 22, 4, by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. God has a time, hallelujah, to give you the desires of his heart. He said for you to seek him, hallelujah, oh yes, seek him and he will give you the very desires of your heart. Hallelujah. Just keep doing the work of the ministry. Keep doing the work of the evangelist. And I'm a witness. God will give you your heart's desire as you continue to go forward in him. Let the church have glory. Mm. Isaiah, as we pick up his word, 57, 15 declares, for thus saith the high and lofty one, that inhabiteth eternal eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy places, and him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite one. Oh, I declare unto you, Zion, God wants us to have that humble spirit that contrite heart, that heart that's broken, that's repentful. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, that's our prayer this morning. Lord, grant us the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Help us to be all that we could be in you. Forgive us, hallelujah, for anything that we have done that's not like you. Oh, God, help us. Ah, somebody ought to type that in the chat this morning. Help us to have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Ah, humility. Hallelujah. I tell you, it's the opposite of pride. Hallelujah. When you have the spirit of the Lord, you're going to have that spirit of humility. Hallelujah. You want to help people. You want to do those things that's going to help people. Hallelujah. Ah, we're excited because God continues to do great and marvelous things for us. Ah, as the word of God continues to go forth as we pray his word. Hallelujah. I tell you, he was an example. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, he was. Our Lord and Savior was an example for us. And that's why he shared with us as we pray according to the scripture, Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. I declare unto you, Zion, this day. We need rest for our souls. Hallelujah. That's why so many of us, when we're in that state of brokenness and I just can't take this anymore, it has to be something better to life, then that's when we turn to the Lord. But I want to say to each of you today that don't know the Lord and your pardon and the pardon of your sins, you don't have to wait till you get to the point of distress. Hallelujah. But you can seek the Lord now while he may be found. You can call upon him now while he is near. Because I'm going to let you know without a shadow of a doubt, Jesus is the best thing, hallelujah, that ever happened to me. And to all of the witnesses, they can declare the same thing that Jesus is the best thing that have ever happened to them. Hallelujah. And he wants to give you rest. Rest from this weary life. Hallelujah. Rest from you uh, 
having to think about, oh my God, if I go out today, will there be straight bullets coming? If I go to the grocery store, will there be straight bullets flying through the aisles of the grocery store? If I go to work, hallelujah, will some lunatic come to work? Hallelujah, shooting up the employees. Oh my God, there is tragedy everywhere. There is no hiding place. Only in God is their safety. Only in God is their safety. And that's why mm, I'm on this live this morning. I'm crying live, sparing not, lifting up my voice like a trumpet. Why? Because I want to see people saved. I want to see them even if they are in the grocery store and have to take a bullet, that they can have peace knowing to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Hallelujah. But when you have gone on your way and have not acknowledged God and something like that happens, then the family is even hurt even the more. Hallelujah. Because it's like it's not a, a, a funeral. It is a funeral. It's not a celebration of rejoicing. It's really a funeral when you know your folks haven't made peace with the Lord. I know it's tight, but it's right. And that's why it's our prayer this morning. Hallelujah. That we can share this video with our family and our loved ones to let them know it's time to come on in the ark. Come on in the ark because it's going to rain. And the Bible said it's going to rain down fire. Hallelujah. And you need to come on, come on in the ark of safety. Because there's no safety in this land. Only in Christ Jesus. It matters not if you have an arsenal of weapons. Hallelujah. If someone catches you off guard. Hallelujah. You don't have time to get to the weapon. Oh, but if you have this book, hallelujah, the word of God, you got your 66, uh, oh my God, living on the inside of you. And in this 66, there are promises, hallelujah. And he said in his promises, Zion, that his angels are gonna encamp round about you, hallelujah. You don't have to have a security guard walking with you. You don't have to have the police walking with you. But you can know as you have this mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, that you got angels. Mm. Come on, somebody. And camp round about me. The Bible says for those that fear the Lord, those that reverence the Lord, angels night and day watching over you. Ah, uh, you ought to shout hallelujah, hallelujah this morning. Ah, because of the angels of the Lord mm, watching over us. Hallelujah. And as we continue to pray, hallelujah, the word. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, John 13, 15 declares, for I have given you an example that ye shall do as I have done to you. Jesus was our example, Zion. Hallelujah. Ah, and he was the perfect example. Hallelujah. If we would just imitate him. Hallelujah. Ah, God the Father, he knew what he was doing. Hallelujah. Oh, he said, oh yeah, it's okay. Imitate me because I know I got it right. Hallelujah. So let us imitate him and we imitate him by obeying the word. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. In Hebrews 3, 1, he declares, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He had it right. Hallelujah. Consider it. He had it right. Hallelujah. And that's why in his holy word, we can go forward knowing that when we apply this word to our lives, we got it right. We on top and rising. We got it right, Zion. Hallelujah. Let us continue to do those things. Hallelujah. That are pleasing to God. 
Hallelujah. He called us holy brethren. Hallelujah. Why? Because he wants us to be holy. Because he's a holy God. Hallelujah. He wants us to be holy. Striving for perfection. Striving for maturity daily. Hallelujah. That means we're not practicing sin. We're not comfortable sinning. It's not something that we do. Hallelujah. Ah, my God. The Bible declares in Hebrews 3, 1, wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. We just read this. Consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. In Hebrews 12, 2, he declares, looking unto Jesus, ah, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. Did you hear what I say? According to scripture, he endured the cross. Mm. Despising the shame. Ah, y'all know we don't been there. Some of us have been there despising the shame. Just hate we have to go through all this shame and embarrassment. But our God did it and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I tell you, but when you get through suffering, what the scripture said, after you suffered a while, then he established you, strengthen you. Hallelujah. The promotion is coming. Hallelujah. And now he's sitting on the right hand of God. He's making intercession, Zion, for you and for me. Hallelujah. I declare he's praying for us. He's telling his father, oh, yes, father. I know, hallelujah, she's a good girl. I know she's a good lady. Hallelujah. She's crying loud, lifting up her voice like a trumpet. I know he's a good man. Hallelujah. He's being kind. Hallelujah. To the employees. He's giving them, hallelujah, the pain that they are rightfully have deserved. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He's making in the session for you and for me. And that's why it's so important, Zion, that as we are his disciples, his followers. Let's do what he's done. Hallelujah. Let's not take it lightly, the work of the ministry. Let us be faithful unto God. He was faithful unto death. He says to occupy till I come. We can't afford to stop and pick flowers, to take a rest. Oh, no. Mm -mm. We have to keep going. He says occupy. Keep going till I come. There's always something that can be done. Always something. Hallelujah. You may not like when we first moved on the property. Hallelujah. In 2004, I remember my mother, my father. Hallelujah. Uh, Trustee Dave and uh, Mother Ruby. Hallelujah. Elder Stone. We'd be out there chopping those trees down. Hallelujah. Trying to vacate that land over there. Hallelujah. Why? Because we wanted to have a prayer garden. We wanted to have, hallelujah, the landscape beautiful. Hallelujah. When the people pass the church, they can look at the beautiful flowers. Why? Because we're people of God. We're working in the ministry. Hallelujah. Let the church shout glory. Always something to do. Hallelujah. Now we're all senior citizens. Hallelujah. We're not out there chopping off trees. Hallelujah. But we're yet feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, yet lifting up our voice like a trumpet that they may hear. Hallelujah. What the Lord is saying to the church. Oh, you ought to bless him on today because he's worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And then 1 Peter 221 declares, for even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, mm. leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Zion, that's a part of the process. Hallelujah. Must Jesus bear this cross alone and the whole world go free? Mm. No, no, no. There's a cross for you. And there's a cross for me. And ask me how I know there's a cross for me, honey, because I have bared some burdens. What they say, in the heat of the day. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. 
Oh, and we love him today. There's nobody like our God. He shows us humility and then he shows us, hallelujah, through his example, hallelujah, that we can serve and follow after him, hallelujah, serve his people. I tell you, our God is so awesome. He has it all thought out and he wants us to have a spiritual mind. That's the mind of Christ. Let the church out, hallelujah. Uh, as we pray his word this morning through the scriptures, uh, Romans 8, 6 declares, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Ooh, hallelujah. And I declare unto you, Zion, when you have the peace of God, you have it all. Because when you're in turmoil with your spirit, Spirit, you can't rest. You're looking over your shoulder because you know you're living a lifestyle that's not uh that's not conducive, hallelujah, to the holy scriptures, hallelujah, to be carnally minded, to be fleshly minded, just wanting to do the things that are unearth, as I said, they're ungodly, they're unholy. Hallelujah. There's a price that you pay for that. And the Bible declares that the wages of sin is death. Sometimes we wonder why so many young people, hallelujah, whose lives, they're just dying. They're just dying, hallelujah. They're going, living, existing, and then you read, they're gone. If you must go by the way of the grave, the question can be asked, what did you do for the Lord? What did you do for the Lord as you journeyed on your way? Come on, Zion. He's expecting us to occupy until he comes. Hallelujah. My time is out and I'm just getting started. Hallelujah. But I want you to know this morning that I appreciate you. And I appreciate that you have enough fortitude in your spirit to rise up early to seek the face of the Lord on this 6 a.m. morning prayer with Pastor Val. Hallelujah, because God is taking note. Hallelujah. God is going to reward you for everything that you do. It's not going unnoticed. I want you to know this. Facebook family, YouTube family. I want you to be encouraged this morning to know that Christ, hallelujah, is at the right hand of God, hallelujah, and he's telling his father, oh yes, hallelujah. Father, honey, she, she got it going on. She doing the work, hallelujah. And then we have that great cloud of witnesses, hallelujah. I always said, that's where my mother, honey, She's on the baddest of heaven saying, go girl, do it, do it, do it, do it. Don't stop, don't stop. Why? Because just as they have went from labor to reward, one day we're going to be called. And will our name be called? Will we find peace with the Lord? Huh? So many times when our loved ones leave us, Hallelujah, we say rest in peace. But you got to remember, Zion, the way we live, that's the way we're going to rest. Hallelujah. And did you live in peace? Hallelujah. And I just want to stop and to give my condolences to my sister-in-law, Sister Lucille, hallelujah, in the uh, transition of her aunt from labor to reward. Hallelujah. I understand she had prepared to go to uh, revival and didn't come out when the driver was there to pick her up. Hallelujah. And the driver called her sis and there she was. Had her clothes laid out, ready to go to church. But didn't make I believe she was 71 years old. Zion, listen, it's time for us to get our lights, to get our lamps trimmed and burning. 
and to keep them that way so that the Lord, when he calls our name, we could be listening and we'll be ready. Hallelujah. We just want to pray for all of those that have lost loved ones. Hallelujah. Some of my uh, school friends, hallelujah, have lost loved ones. And oh my God, it's a lot. It's a lot to go through, but with God's help, we're going to make it, Zion. We're going to make it. Hallelujah. And this morning, certainly we're praying for all of those that are on the front lines. And I heard one of our uh, diocesan bishops, um, I read one of his posts that said, pastors are on the front line. And that's what I had shared with you a while ago. Oh, yes. And we need to pray for the pastors because they're the ones that's funeralizing all of these people that are dying. Hallelujah. Some just of natural causes, some from this dreadful COVID that has invaded the atmosphere. But we need to pray for them. The Lord strengthen them. Give them the grace to go through and certainly to have the mind of Christ. Because it's a job, it's a duty that we have to serve people. Hallelujah. So we pray for all of the pastors, the ministers, the clergy. Hallelujah. As they go forth. Certainly we pray, hallelujah, for all of our doctors and nurses, those that are working in the hospitals, the nursing homes. Hallelujah. All the care facilities, we pray for you this morning. The Lord will just strengthen you, fortify you. Hallelujah. To have the grace to do your job with the spirit of excellence. Certainly, we pray for our president. This is a crisis that he's in. Well, the whole United States, the world is in. He needs our prayers. Hallelujah. His cabinet, and we pray for him. Hallelujah, that as they speak in his ear, that they'll speak wisdom to him. Hallelujah. We pray for all of the essential workers. We pray for uh, the children. Hallelujah. Our children are being shut down. Hallelujah. In the street. Uh, let's pray for our children. And that's why, parents, we need to pray for one another as parents. Hallelujah. There will be good parents. Hallelujah. Watching our children. Hallelujah, protecting them from evil because there's always an evil force lurking. Hallelujah, trying to influence and persuade our children to do those things that are wicked. Hallelujah. And that's why the Lord have uh, sanctioned us to be parents so that we can watch over them, so that we can protect them. Hallelujah. When they don't know how to make a wise decision. Every, it's not up to them. It's up to you as the parent. Help them as they go forward. Hallelujah. We pray certainly for marriages. Hallelujah. The Lord will continue to knit them together as one unit, the family. Hallelujah. Oh, God. We pray, hallelujah, that even on this day, Lord, hallelujah, that you will replace, hallelujah, that spirit of mourning and grief. Hallelujah, with joy. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we pray for those that are in our nursing facilities, all our veterans, all of the caregivers. We pray for backsliders. Hallelujah, that you'll just come on back. Hallelujah, while it's still today. Hallelujah, while the blood is running warm in your vein. Hallelujah, because it used to be a time when you could go to work and you thought you were safe. Hallelujah. You can't go to work now and be safe. Uh -uh. The only safety is in God. Hallelujah. So we need to be alert and we need to be wise to that. Hallelujah. We need to be alert as we win souls to the kingdom. Hallelujah. This is the avenue through social media that the Lord have given us. So this is the platform that we're going to use until the Lord says something different. Hallelujah. Ah, and certainly I thank the Lord and pray for all of the gospel troopers, our gospel truth family, that we continue to do the work the Lord have ordained for the ministry. Hallelujah. We're a serving ministry. Hallelujah. We believe in serving our community, serving the people of God. Hallelujah. We thank you for all of our sores, hallelujah, 
those that have planted seeds into the ministry. Hallelujah. And we encourage you. Hallelujah. This is a ministry of help. Help us as we help others. Help us as we help feed the community. Hallelujah. Feed the community good food, wholesome food that's going to help nourish their body. Hallelujah. We encourage you so into the ministry. Hallelujah. For the more you give, the more the Lord gives back to you. I'm a witness. You cannot. I know it's a song. Be God given no matter how you try. Don't hold on to it, but give so that the Lord can bless you as he continued to help and to bless each and every one of us. Truly, we plead the blood of Jesus. Some of you have some dire situations, circumstance that you're facing right now. And we plead the blood of Jesus over them. Hallelujah. Of all of the strongholds. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God, that stronghold of heaviness. Hallelujah. Sadness and loneliness and tiredness and weakness. Ah, oppression and weeping. Hallelujah, gloom, doom, depression. Mm. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, over all of these situations and we cast out uh, the spirit of heaviness and all that are under him and command them to go according to Isaiah 61, 3. Hallelujah. Ah, and we speak life. Hallelujah to every dead situation, hallelujah. And for the Lord, hallelujah, has the last say. I just want to say to all of you that have tagged me to pray for your loved ones, and some have said, oh, well, the physicians have said they've done all they could do. I want to encourage you to believe the report of the Lord, hallelujah. Ah, because it's not over till God says it's over. Hallelujah. I know people that have been in hospice for seven years. Hallelujah. And they yet ain't died. Hallelujah. So it ain't over till God says it's over. Keep believing in faith. Hallelujah. That God's going to deliver your loved ones. Hallelujah. I we plead the blood of Jesus. Mm, hallelujah. Oh my God. Help me today, Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, over the stronghold of the Antichrist spirit. For under this stronghold is unjust men. How many of those do you know today just ain't right? Hallelujah. They're disobedient, unfaithful to God, atheists. Hallelujah. Ah, a person who ignores the duty of God. Come on, somebody. And one who claimed to be God. Now, you know that mind is twisted. Ah, uh, in the name of Jesus, we pull down these strongholds, these spirits. Um, and we take authority over them and command them to go. Hallelujah. According to 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. And Lord, hallelujah, as we close out this prayer, we pray that you will have hallelujah complete hallelujah authority hallelujah over everything that has been stated and and lord we pray hallelujah for those that would like for you hallelujah to be their lord and savior hallelujah that you'll come into their hearts lord you'll open up their hearts to receive you and to receive the instructions that you have for them and to allow them to find a good bible believing church Hallelujah, that they can be baptized in your name and be filled with the Holy Spirit uh, so that they can live this clean, separated, and sanctified life. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, as we close this prayer for our prayer focus this morning, the mind of Christ. And Father, it is our prayer that you give us this mind that is in Christ Jesus. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, family. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord keep you. May his grace rest upon you. 
And may you find favor, hallelujah, as you continue to seek him and to look to the hills from whence cometh your help, knowing that all of your help, it comes from the Lord that made the heaven and the earth. I hope you haven't been inspired this morning by this prayer. I pray, hallelujah, that the Lord just continue to tug at your heart. Hallelujah. And you just continue to seek him more and more. Hallelujah. I want you to know that I love you. Continue to sow into this ministry. This is good ground. Hallelujah. The links will be below. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Lord continue to grace you mm, as you continue to seek him the more to have the mind of Christ. Until we meet again, this has been your host, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, Pastor Valerie D. Clark, saying I love you. Hallelujah. I know God is faithful and he's watching over you. Until we meet again. Mwah. Shalom. Bye-bye.